Hey, what's up guys? Um, basically today I have another story for you. And this story, um, it takes, it actually takes place, um, in North Carolina. Because at the time I was living in South Carolina for like two months. This was like when I was uh, in maybe third grade, I'll, or maybe second, third grade, and I was living in South, then I moved to South Carolina for like two months. But, yeah, so I, I lived in, so when I was in like second or third grade, basically what happened was I moved to South Carolina for two months over the summer, I don't know why, we just did. And then, so yeah, and then, um, yeah. And then there was this place, and then there was another state called North Carolina, right next to us. And basically in North Carolina, um, is where this all takes place. And I was about maybe 11, 12, maybe 13 the most at the time, you know. And basically, what happened was, I was at this place called Monkey Joe's in North Carolina, right? And basically what um, Monkey Joe's is, is you know what those bouncy houses are? You know, when the kids' birthday parties? Well, yeah, that's what it is. If you look up Monkey Joe's, you'll, you'll, you'll basically, it'll show you. It's like a bunch of bouncy houses, but... It's not a bunch of castle bouncy houses, it's like different styles and stuff, stuff you can climb up, you know, it's just, it, it's really fun, you know. But the only thing is though, is they have like a policy in there where you can't run, because like every time I run, I always get yelled at, or not yelled at, but, I don't know, but yeah. So, basically I was running around, I was having fun, right? And then, there was this one little bouncy thing, I think it, it had like, you know, a slide and a staircase you could kind of climb up, but it was all... You know, it was all a blow-up house, you know what I mean? It was all just a blow-up house. And I was so... I don't know what happened. I think I either... Obviously, I either was able to climb up the slide or... I either climbed up, or climbed up the slide and then went down or I just tried to climb up the slide in general. But I was... So I was going to climb up the slide, right? And then there was a girl on top of the slide. And then she started coming down. And then basically, when she was coming down, her f I looked up and then her foot knocked me not basically hit my face but hit my mouth and well first of all it knocked it knocked the wind out of me like bad and also it knocked kind of my tooth out it made my tooth hanging right but basically yeah if you when you get the wind knocked out of you like you know you you basically feel like you can't breathe at least for me you know what I mean so yeah I got the wind knocked out of me but then, I also, but yeah, so I was crawling with my mom, so I started crawling, right, to, this t to the table in the middle of the place, there was, a, my mom was talking to some people, I started crawling towards her, like, and I was like, mom, I can't breathe, and she was like, oh, you're fine, and then, you know, in my, in my head, I was like, how are you gonna sit there and let me not breathe, you know, obviously I was fine, but I didn't know that at the time, because I felt like I couldn't breathe, and yeah. And then basically what happened was when I got the one knocked out of me, I also got my tooth knocked out. And my tooth wasn't fully knocked out, it was kind of like hanging down. So yeah, basically my tooth was hanging down. You know, yeah, out of my mouth. It was kind of hanging out of my mouth from one of my gums. So, I had that hanging out of my mouth for like a couple of months. And then, yeah. And... I didn't want to pull it out or anything because if you guys obviously you guys should already know this already but pulling a tooth out hurts you know just ripping it out I mean come on just putting your hand in there and ripping it out hurts you know what I mean so yeah I, I, I didn't only get the wind knocked out of you but I also got my tooth basically knocked out of place um and I don't think it was bleeding actually because it was still attached to gum I don't know what the hell was wrong with the gum, but yeah, basically yeah, that's what happened, and um, it was like that for a while, my tooth, I just stayed there, I kind of liked it being there, honestly, it was fun to play with my mouth, but hey, it has to come out sometime, right, so basically, I, alright, so what happened was, fast forward, maybe a couple months or so, I don't know, uh, Basically, um, me and a couple parts of my family went to this bar place, and in this bar, 
um, I wasn't drinking, obviously. <laughs> but in this bar, we had, um, there was like a balcony in there. It was a weird, it was cool. And then, at the, then at the balcony, there was, um, you know, at the balcony, there was just a bunch of people sitting there, right? Basically, obviously, as you guys know, I had my tooth basically hanging out of my mouth. Not hanging out of my mouth, but hanging inside of my mouth. It was knocked out of place, right? I don't know what happened. I know this is probably gonna sound fake, but I'm pretty sure I bit into an apple. I don't know what it was. I bit into something hard, and it made my tooth come out. I think that's what made my tooth come out. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that's what made my tooth come out. And then, yeah, my tooth was out. And what's weird about it is like, you know, like, I was so used to having my tooth there to the point where it was like, just, I didn't care if it was in there or not, but I kind of liked it being in there at the same time. But yeah, it came out, and like I said, it has to come out eventually. But yeah, it came out itself, and yeah, I, I, I kind of felt a little bit relieved. But then yeah, um... Yeah, th that's what happened. That was the story about me getting the wind knocked out of me and also my tooth knocked out of place. Which was kind of weird. Um, I also got another story to tell on this channel, but it's kind of long. And it happened not too long ago, actually, as well. So, every time I tell that, though, I always feel like I'm not making a lot of sense, so I always end it. You know, in this video, um, this is like my third time talking in this video because I always mess I keep feeling like I'm not do anything right so I keep restarting my voice audio so I'm trying to make this video good but yeah so my next video I might have that but I'm trying to I'm trying to do some voice impressions next actually for my next video but if I could I might just do um another story I don't know that's kind of what I got in mind but yeah if you guys enjoy just do whatever um, and I'll talk to y'all later. Just enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I'm not even gonna cut the rest of it out. Just enjoy the rest of it. Um, yeah, just tell me what you guys want to know next. Uh, I stream every night, by the way. So, if you really want to find me, try to find me at 9 o'clock. Maybe 9 o'clock. Um, Connecticut time. And, yeah. So, just enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I actually was modding in this gameplay in Black Ops 2. Um, yeah, it was pretty fun. I figured out how to mod and everything, so I had a lot of fun. Um, my, my next gameplay, maybe I'll um, put some Black Ops 2 zombies or I don't know what I'm going to do. This clip was maybe a couple of days ago. But yeah, if you guys do enjoy, like I said, if you do enjoy, like, subscribe for more. I'll talk to you later. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay and peace out.